So let's see where the cold air is coming into this room. Um, that is my garden over there. And I got my E01 thermal imaging there. And you can tell the warm part is all the orangey color stuff. And the blue, purple is where it's really cold. So it's expected to have the window cold because obviously that is going into the garden. You can see my reflection here on my plateau door. Between the glass and the plastic frame, you can't really do anything about it, but tiny bit of spot there. I don't know if that is intentional, but I think the gasket is missing from here. I don't know if the GoPro can zoom in a bit, but basically the gasket stopped here and then there is a half a centimeter gap. I mean, we can't draft proof everything, but everything do adds up. And the other thing is this door, um, we had it built when we had our ex, um, when we moved in about 13 years ago. It looks quite solid, but if you look at that edge here, so that is the purple part, which is here. So my, my finger leaving some warm behind, that's why you can see a funny writing on there. But if you look at that, there is some purple line running across there. And then it stopped. So basically along this edge is a good seal, so there's no draft coming through, but the door is coming away from the frame from here, all the way down, and that's why it's letting cold air in. And I already shut it as tight as I can, and the rest looks relatively okay until there. So that side is kind of letting air in as well. Don't mistake this blue line here. This is something that there's not much we can do. That is just where the glass meet the plastic. But we're talking about this little part here. I think if I push it, yeah, I can actually see a bit of dust there fluffing about when the cold air actually come in. Um, the fireplace is an interesting one because when I look at the fireplace, it doesn't look out of place. I mean, this is cast iron, so it does conduct heat. So behind is a chimney going all the way up to the house. So I thought, you know, maybe that will give me a bit of a problem. But actually, it doesn't show any draft coming through. I do have one of these like chimney balloon that I got so I can block it because we don't really use that gas fire anyway. Now this is the external wall and that's why it's showing in blue. That one as well. But this is the internal wall to the hallway. So that's why it's not showing blue at all. The radiator is warm, that's why it's showing glowing. And there's not much we can do with this because when we move in, we didn't have money to change all the windows. So this is actually aluminium frame. So we are bound to heat, lose a lot of heat here. So that will be a major upgrade needed to stop that. But the point of this video is not actually to draft proof the house. I don't need an airtight house. I just want to reduce as much as possible of heat lost. So this door is as old as the house. So the house is 1930. And you can see very blue there. So this is single glaze. So this is losing a lot of heat. The letterbox almost like Got those um, hair Bristol thing, but still letting some air, cold air in, and that's why you can see the blue thing there. And this is one of the biggest problems I have. So this door is warped. You see a big gap there. Big, massive gap there. And this is not even closing properly. So this, you see the locked, this so much paint that it doesn't move anymore. This is, can you see how much out there is? It's almost like two centimeters away. And this is letting all the cold air coming in. So that is something that I can do or fix. 
So another place I'll be looking at fixing is this side here. So this should not be this cold because this is kind of in the middle of the house. That is to the driveway and this is under the stairs. So you can see it's quite purple compared to this side. And guess what is behind that cupboard? The boiler. Yeah, so this is a massive problem. We used to have two cats and then we have a cat flap. It's no longer in use, but you see the cold spot is there and also a little purple spike coming off from there. That means the air is coming through that side. And I don't think the door is closed properly either. You can see there. A blue spot there and we already attempt to seal it with some foam but we're not doing a very good job here and here massive air coming in most of the time you don't feel it because the boiler is right here but literally we're just heating up the air here I guess it does help a bit of ventilation for our laundry but we don't need that so here is under the staircase and you can see there's a bit of blue at this corner here <laughs> and there's cold cold spot there and if I open it and it's not surprising because that that wall there is actually outside this is an outside wall so the cold air is coming through the floorboards coming up here usually the cold is contained in this room which we don't really mind because it's just our kind of a little storage junk room anyway so maybe we just need to seal around this all right coming into the kitchen so there's a glowing hot there because there's a radiator behind those two fan grill here i think the leak is still ongoing um, we dried it over summer but you can see a blue spot there so there might be potentially a damp patch behind we did have some heavy rain here is just a steel beam going along there, so there's not much insulation. That's why there's a blue band all the way across. And all three sides is external wall. And you can see where the two walls meet is kind of where the cold spots are. Another door, another problem. So here, I won't say problem, it's not that cold, but it all adds up looks fine to me here until this spot here so what we're looking at is it's not just a purple line I do expect it to be cold spot but when you see a major area of blue then that means that the air is coming in and cooling this part of the door windows they do look okay that's the thing you cannot not have windows so I'll leave those part okay so since this is a door that we don't really use a lot so now we have a door sealed so basically it's a blanket the size of the door which goes around the frame So there is still some draft coming through but not as bad as before and you see because we can still use the door so as soon as I open it then you can see it's dark blue but once you close it it does help to keep a lot of our warmth okay so I put some insulation behind the wall there stop the draft from coming through there's not much I can do with this wall because it's external wall here unless I insulate it which is a big drop or some old rack which I don't use so I just chuck it down to stop the draft from coming through the floorboards so that should help reduce a bit of wasted heat so there's still a bit of uh, draft coming through the bottom there which I can put a strip across the door but look at that no more blue lines 
across the frame. Just now there was a blue line here and a blue line there. And now there's no more. So nothing always go according to plan. For example, this door here, no matter what I do, I could not get the bottom corner fixed. Now, under investigation, at the end, I find out what happened was the door was not installed properly. Whereas the hinges supposed to move the door that way. So that corner is actually out by about half a centimeter or about five mil. That means that the door is too short to stop on this side. Now, usually what you do is you unscrew the hinge plate and then you can adjust on the other side but over the years that screw is now stuck and um, I guess it's easier just to weather strip that little part so here you can see there's a big gap there and it's not just a gap away it's actually too short so too late to get the builder back because 10 years is a long time but I did manage to use a screwdriver to close the gap in the lock plate so now the door closes a bit better so at least the top part there is no big purple air coming through and for our front door I think this is as good as it can be you can see still a bit of purple where the door lock is, that's the biggest gap of the door. But apart from that, the seal, so where the seal does its job nicely. Even the bottom, there's not much coming through now. There will be purple straight line, but there won't be like an area of purple because of the draft coming through. And the letterbox as well. So there's still a bit of air coming through if I open it, you can see dark blue, but the purple here is all gone because I silicon the bottom, so the air can only come through here. And with the flap down, it's minimal. Here, unless I cut a piece of prospect, but it's too much a hassle, I would just leave it as it is. And just to show you the weather strip that I use. So the strip I use is like this, it's white and the front part is double sided tape and you have a rigid on the top. I had it on the top of the door as well. So now I have it all around and I have an extra strip which I put on the other side as well as on the bottom here. And when the door is closed And it really seals everything shut. Well, this door is almost 90 years old, so with that bigger gap, this is as good as it can go.